How are you going out there, fishos? It's the Tiger here. Uh, got some great news today. Um, the boys from ATF, um, addictive to fishing, they've um, put me on as one of their admin boys, so uh, I'm very more than grateful for that. So uh, a few of your boys on um, that side have asked about the uh, cock and the sock, but how to do the rig. So tonight I thought I'd uh, show you how to do the rig. Okay, so. What I'll do is um, I'll start off with um, a triple snell. Now I like to use the uh, the half tuners, half tuner circles. They work a treat. I find they work really good. Uh, you boys down in Melbourne, I've been told, can only use two hooks. So well, I'll show you how to do the triple. All you've got to do with the, the double is just space them further apart so that you've got one down near the uh, near the tail or halfway down towards the tail and one up near the head but anyway the boys in Sydney I'll show you how to do the triple. I like to use probably about 50 to 60 pound uh, uh, trace. I start off with a, uh, a full blood. Everyone knows how to do a full blood they're not hard. Okay. Full blood. like that. Just an arm's length I find quite sufficient. Okay then we get our next hook. Always go in through the uh, the front of the eye like that. Pull it down. Try and keep them, uh, you know, you, you, your pilchards are uh, depending on their size. I, I find that the ones that pull up here at Gold Coast Bait and Tackle are uh, the size, I know sort of how far to keep them apart, but that's about as far for me, me second hook. It's just a case of putting the line down the, the, the left hand side of the uh, shank, and just a case of wrapping probably six times down the shank, get the end of the, uh, your line. Instead of going through the, 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 the front of the, uh, the eye, go through the back on the return, okay? And then it's just a case of pulling it through finger into the, the hook like that, pull down to lock it in, okay? Grab your next uh, hook, again, through the uh, the front of the hook, like that. Slide it down, till it sits about that far, so that, that, that's not bad for, for a nice size pilchard, okay? So again, left hand side of the, the, the shank, one, two, three, four, five, six should be sufficient. And it's just a case of through the back of the eye. Having trouble seeing it. Eyes are bad. And lock it off again, okay? Now, I haven't got any on me tonight, but I normally put like a little plastic glow bead going down on that so that the your sinker hitting against metal on metal won't put a ding in your in your trace and a chance of a, a good fish on and uh, snapping your line. So just make out this one on that. I just put me, uh, I, I put a sinker on to suit the uh, the current and, and the quickness of our drift from there. And um, yeah, just putting on a swivel onto that end and, and, and there's your, uh, that's your cock and your sock rig for float line for snapper, okay? Now, while I'm at it, I thought I'd show you another uh, tip that I haven't done yet. Um, with your, um, people like to you, keep their jig heads, uh, hooks, lures, still attached to their uh, main line. Now, I've been a, 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 got into a habit of putting them in the side there, but it's, it's wrecking your uh, your eyelets uh, and. The, the, the porcelain inside there, so I'm, I've sort of shied away from that now. And what I'm doing now to keep it uh, as it is, it's just a case of getting yourself a uh, nice, strong, hard rubber band, putting a half hitch around the uh, the reel like that, pulling up, and then it's just a case then of getting your jig head, your lure, or your hook, and putting it through there. Now, if it bounces too much and you're scared it's going to be hitting the wash name, just put a double your rubber bands up to make it a bit stiffer. And uh, that there 
works fine for me. Now, okay, I, 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 I've seen an, another method uh, in doing it. Okay, I, I'm, I'm probably stealing somebody's idea here, but I haven't seen anyone actually put it onto a video. Is get yourself a split ring, okay? Get yourself a little cable tie, put it through, put it under there. It's just a case of doing your cable tie up. Nice and tight, like that. Slip your little bit of dag off. Like that. Then use your little ring to hold your hook again, your jig head or your thing in place. And there we go. There's another nice little simple but effective way of uh, keeping your hook, jig head and lure without it um, damaging your stuff. Okay, so there's my next tip, boys and girls. Uh, the boys from ATF said that if I got over a thousand shares or likes that I had to do a shoey. So to you fellas, I've got to do it. Cheers boys, thanks for having me on board, the Tiger.